Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to take a look an, on Open Liberty with the MicroProfile 3 support and measure the RAM consumption. And uh, for this purpose, um, I downloaded the Open Liberty ver uh, MicroProfile 3 version, which is uh, already pre-configured out of the box with MicroProfile 3 support. And it takes around 50 megs to download. And uh, what I would like to do is I would like to use the already introduced app Quarkus um, versus, which was using the Quarkus versus War screencast, and uh, it uh, ships with uh, two poems, one for Quarkus and one for War deployment. And I would like to use the War deployment in the case of Open Liberty. So Open Liberty is downloaded, so there is no Java process running. So what I would like to do is to install Open Liberty first, reinstall Liberty. What it does, it is uh, Basically, it removes the old uh, Liberty and uh, unzips the new one, so then it's installed. So now the zip was um, <laughs> unzipped and or extracted, and now it's installed. So now I would like to fire up what, and what what will do. Ah, before we fire what, we have to start Liberty, which will create the deployment folder. And now open Liberty started, and then I can run what, and uh, we already should find that uh, there is an application with uh, 70, 700 uh, max of RAM, which is a lot. And this is uh, Open Liberty. Uh, we see why, why this number. And now I will start what, which will deploy the application to Open Liberty. So now we have two processes running, this one and uh, what exactly. And uh, so I will kill what again, again, because the application is already deployed. And now it should disappear. And now what remains is Open Liberty. So if we uh, wait a second, this 73 max should disappear. Uh, yeah, exactly, because the what was killed. So now the application is deployed. So I can just uh, go and search for the app. And this is uh, the name of the app is Q Resources Hello. And I should get the uh, exactly the content, and uh, we can also, for instance, ask about the health, and we get the um, health response from Open Liberty. So it seems to work. So the memory consumption 860 max from outside. Now launch the J Visual VM, J Visual VM, and take a look what happens. So we have the uh, Liberty running here. So let's um, allow and um, so what you see there is no minus x mix specified so the java just takes as much uh, memory as it likes so uh, in our case this is almost one gig and if we switch to um, to the monitor we see that the application consumes 300 megs but because there is no memory pressure so if i perform the uh, garbage collector we see that it uh, goes down to 30 megs of ram which is uh, which is reasonable, and um, yeah. So what we can do, of course, we can specify a JVM option, which should reduce the uh, size of Liberty, uh, memory size of Liberty. So now let's try that. So I will just kill this process, and uh, just would like to take a look again on the at the uh, so still 860 max of RAM. So uh, now let's kill Liberty. How to do that? So now it's gone. And uh, what happened is in the folder, CD Liberty Home in my case. So um, there is a user default server, user service default server. What we can do, we can uh, specify or we can add a configuration file called JVM options. So let's do this with the content minus XMX. Um, 64 M and this should go into JVM options. So now if I, this is the configuration. So now the file is here with this content and now I would like to start Liberty again. And now it should consume considerably less memory. So let's see whether it is true. Now we have Liberty, it should be updated. As we already see, it consumes 200 memory, 200 uh, a megabyte of RAM. And now let's restart the J Visual VM again. So J Visual VM and take a look how it behaves. And uh, we see that this minus XMX is actually set. 
and go to monitor and we see that it consumes now 67 megabytes of RAM and if we perform the garbage collection it goes down to 30 max which is actually a nice so the, the um, Open Liberty with MicroProfile 3 all features enabled uh, consumes um, an empty, not that empty application consumes around 30 max of RAM and the entire process where is it here consumes 200 max of RAM which is reasonable so Thank you for watching and see you at upcoming conferences, Airhex Live, Airhex.com or Airhex.io or if you have any questions left, Airhex TV. And uh, thank you for watching and bye.